Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 325. Uh, it's a medium level problem um, and the accuracy shows it, uh, but still the accuracy is on the lower side, I would say. I would say. Uh, so the problem name is maximum tastiness of candy basket. So problem statement says that you are given an array of positive integers price where price of i denotes the price of the ith candy and a positive integer k. Okay, the store sells basket of k distinct candies and the tastiness of a candy basket is the smallest absolute difference of the prices of any two candies in the basket. Okay, return the maximum tastiness of a candy basket. So what is the problem trying to say? It says that you have certain candies, right? These are the prices of those candies and you need to select these key candies. Okay, so suppose you select three candies. So let's let's assume these are one, two and five. Okay, so it says that find the absolute difference of every pair. Okay, fine. So for this, it will be one for this, it will be three and for this, it will be four. So the absolute differences that you have find, found out, what is the minimum value amongst those? So amongst one, three and four, one is the minimum value. So this will be your, uh, this will be the tastiness of a candy basket. So now what we need to do, we need to this maximize this one. So select the value such that you get the maximum minimum absolute difference, right? Remember both the words maximum minimum. So uh, the tastiness of a basket is defined as the minimum absolute difference and we need to maximize it. So we need to find the maximum tastiness. So what we can do. So for this case, what we can do, suppose we select um, what do you call it? One, eight and 21. Then what happens? The minimum difference of this, the, the difference basically not minimum difference of this two is seven. For these two, it comes out to be 13. And for these two, it comes out to be 20. So that means out of 7, 13 and 20, 7 is the minimum value, right? So uh, this is the tastiness of the, uh, that. Now what is the maximum value that we can find out? So suppose we select these three values. What do you call it? Just a second. Yeah, I remove it. So suppose you select 5, 13 and 21. So the difference of these three, is, these two is 8. This is 8 and this is 16. So out of 8, 8 and 16, 8 is the minimum value. So 8 will be your answer, right? So simple stuff, you need to select certain values, k values basically, such that the minimum absolute difference of any pair is maximized, okay? So for this, we'll select uh, 13, 5 and 21. What about this one? We need to select two values. So if we select 1, 1, the difference will be 0. If we select 1 and 3, the difference will be 2 and hence 2 is our answer. What about this one? So we see here that all the values are same. So irrespective of whatever you select, your answer will be 0 in this case, right? So yeah, that's it for this problem. Now let's let's go behind the intuition, right? So these are certain constraints uh, that the number of elements that you can have is 10 raised to power 5, each value can be 10 raised to power 9 and so on, right? These are certain constraints. So how many values can you select? Uh, obviously the number of candies that you are given. So that means what could be the br brute force approach? The brute force approach that might come to your mind is I have n values, okay? I have n values. I can uh, select all the possible combinations of k because I need to select k, n, c, k. And when I select a say, set, there can be n, c, k possible combinations. So when you select a combination, test whether, um, test what is the tastiness of that combination. But obviously, this is sort of an exponential solution, right? Uh, this is not going to work, right? What is the other option that you can have, okay? So let's look into some of the observations. The first observation is, what is the minimum difference, minimum absolute difference that you can have? Obviously, that is zero, right? Suppose you have to select two values from an array, right? So what I can do? Suppose I sort that array, okay? Let's talk about this one only. Suppose I sort it, so it becomes 1, 2, 5, 8, 15, and 21. Suppose I sort it, right? So just see, if I need to select two elements such that the difference is maximized, so I can select the first and the last element. Uh, right, that's that's pretty common, right? Because this is the minimum, this is the maximum. So whatever value you select in the middle, obviously, suppose the difference of this is x and the difference of this is y. So obviously the difference of this will be x plus y, right? So you will be selecting the minimum and the maximum value in this case, right? So this is something that we can do. So for two values, I can do this. So the minimum difference that I can have is this. The maximum difference is that I can have is select the first and the last value from the array. Obviously, find the absolute difference, right? So, the, the, the NCK part can be done. This is one of the observation. What are the other things that you can do? Suppose somehow, somehow, given this array and given a value, let's assume, let me call it val, 
right? This tells that this is my minimum absolute difference. So somehow, if you are able to find that whether this value satisfies your condition or not, then we are good to go, right? How? So this is my array. Suppose I sort it. So again, it becomes 1, 2, 5, 8, uh, 13 and 21, right? So what we can do is for a given value, if, if I can somehow find that, okay, for this array, this value satisfies that this is the minimum absolute difference, right? This or any value greater than this is the minimum absolute difference. If I somehow I'm able to verify it, then I'm good to go. Why? Because I know the minimum difference that I can have. I know the maximum difference can I have. I can do a binary search. I check for this value. Let's call it val. If this is satisfied, then that means I update my answer and I check in this range, right? I check in this range because I need to find the maximum absolute difference, right? So I, I check for other values. So I update my range. However, if this value is not satisfied, I check in this range. Simple binary search concept, right? Now comes the question for a given value. How do I check whether it is satisfying the condition or not, right? So what I can do? So just see here that in a sorted array, right? In this, in this sorted array, what we can do? 1, 2, 5, 8, 13 and 21. So what we can do, we can we can pick up the first element, we can keep it in our set, we can keep it in our set. And then what we can do, we can check whether let's call it previous, let's call it previous value. I have already selected it. So now I need to select k minus one elements, right? So if I, I, I check that if my previous plus the difference that I'm assuming to be satisfied is less than or equal to the current candy price price of I, okay, that means when I come here, I check that one plus val is less than equal to price of i that is two here it is two if that is satisfied then i keep this as well in my set else i move forward okay now i check that one plus val is less than equal to five if this is satisfied then then we are good to go i'll update my previous i'll make previous equals to five why because greedily i am pick up, picking up the values to keep it in my set right so i picked up one suppose i five also satisfies my condition now i need to check for, for one more value which um, which satisfies the condition with five because i don't need to check it with one because if this is a value suppose 10 let's assume okay so if 10 and 5 satisfy the condition then 10 and 1 will also satisfy the condition because if the difference of this is x the difference of this 2 is y then the difference of 10 minus 1 will be x plus y right so if the minimum absolute difference uh, of, of x is satisfied then for x plus y it will be satisfied right i need to find the difference should be greater than or equal to x in this case right or val in this case so this is something that i can do and at last if i if i was able to select k elements I'm good to go, right? Let me show you that with the help of the code, right? So this is my code, okay? I first sort the array, right? Because we'll be applying a greedy approach and a binary search thing. Uh, these are the number of elements I have. Um, answer is initialized by zero, low is zero, and then, then high is obviously the maximum value that you can have, right? You do a binary search, this is your mid value, and this is a utility function that will che that will tell you that uh, whether this value satisfy it satisfies the conditions that you want to do or not right <clears throat> if this satisfies you update your answer and now you update your range as well this satisfies move into this range so low equals to mid plus one else high equals to mid minus one this doesn't satisfy move into this range right now comes what is this utility function let's move here so this function is i passed what is the price i passed what is the taste or the value that i need to satisfy and these are the number of values i need to select right so just see previous is initialized by the first value and how many values do i need to select now k minus one because i've already selected the first value so i equals to one i less than n and then k is greater than zero i plus plus so what i do i do simple stuff here let me erase it i do simple stuff i just check the conditions so i check it that if my previous plus taste is less than equal to price of i that means the minimum absolute difference thing is satisfied till now so okay pick this element as well so k k1 minus minus and now previous is updated simple when you come out of the loop you check that have you were you able to consume all the elements or were you able to find all the k elements if yes return true else return false okay if i take an example so suppose my array was i think 1 2 5 8 13 and 21 so suppose i want to check for 7 so what i'll do initially my previous is 1 okay so i check for is 1 plus 7 less than equal to 2 
no it is not don't update anything is one plus seven less than equal to five no don't do anything is one plus seven less than equal to eight yes it is so you have picked up one more element so initially uh, you had eight as well and your previous is updated to eight so now you do eight is eight plus seven less than equal to thirteen no it is not don't do anything is eight plus seven less than equal to twenty one yes it is you decrement your k and you are you have found out these elements so for seven so for this array you can see that the minimum absolute difference will be greater than or equal to seven so here you can see it is seven here you can see it is 13 and for this it is 20 so seven will be your answer in this case right so that is the approach that we have been using right uh, and i think the second question of this contest was again uh, done using binary search so i think a couple of questions related to binary search in the same contest but yeah so i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up also do subscribe to the channel and in case of any queries uh, please do let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye